Pueblo. We're on our way, or at least I'm on my way, to Kings Island for pass holder preview day. It's the day before the park officially opens. So anyone that has a season pass gets to go. So we're um, on our way and we'll get there in about three and a half hours. Okay, we made it to Kings Island. It took about three and a half hours. And when I left, it was nice and sunny up by Detroit. But down here, closer to Cincinnati, it's a little bit uh, overcast. So I did see a couple small drops of rain hitting my windshield on the way down. Hopefully, once I get in the park, there won't be any rain, at least for the majority of the day. <laughs> so here is Kings Island. We're walking to the entrance here. There's a couple of rides running that I hear. Here's the entrance to Kings Island. The new adventure port area. It's gonna be opening later this year. Okay, I made it inside. First thing you do when you get here is you hit the bathroom. So we got our uh, main street area here with the Eiffel Tower and the different shops and restaurants and the big fountain in the middle. Um, it's kind of the first thing you see when you walk into Kings Island. We made it inside and we're uh, just walking down the main avenue here with all the shops and restaurants and eating places and the fountain and heading towards Eiffel Tower. So we'll uh, venture into the park and see what we can see. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll uh, ride up to the top of the Eiffel Tower and kind of do a 360 of the park from up there and get a good feel for uh, crowds and what's going, uh, what's working, that kind of stuff. Uh, it was like a tie-dye thing. Oh, okay. How about the here we go. Welcome to the Eiffel Tower. Tower's 314 feet tall. It's approximately one third the size of the one in Paris, France. You're headed up to the 265 foot observation platform. There are a few rules. There's no eating, no drinking, and no smoking. It is also against Ohio State hockey. Throw, drop, toss, spit, or pour anything off the side. Not that you would do anything on the side. <laughs> All right, thanks. Or you can ask me on the way back there. Perfect. All right, thanks so much. Okay, we made it. We're up to the top. You can see uh, Diamond back down there. So we got uh, Diamond back, and it's headed up the hill. Kind of see the lines. Um, I wouldn't say they're long, but they're, uh, there's a line. Um, so at least we know the Diamondbacks running for sure. And I think we can see Mystic Timbers and the Beast. Um, <clears throat> right now I only see the Diamondback going up the hill though. And it's about to go down, there it goes. It's a fun ride. It's one of the uh, better coasters I've ever been on. We'll uh, try to get on that maybe in a little bit here. I was, it might just hit some of the bigger rides only today. The best part is the splashdown. Here it comes. And the Mystic Timbers is about to take off now too. So you see it going down there and up and over and around and goes back into the woods. Um, it's a fun ride. It's real. It's kind of not super big hills and it's more speed, uh, I would say. And kind of a back and forth motion. So we'll walk over here to the other side. And uh, look out here. See the racer. The racer is um, about to go down the first hill there, and they got the uh, Orion coaster, the big blue one, the Giga coaster. 
So the racer looks like it might just be running one car today, not the racing of two cars. And supposedly they rebuilt almost all the track on the one side. Um, I know the kids really like that ride. It's a lot of fun. Orion's a really fun ride too. Orion is starting to head up the top of the hill now. It's a fun ride. It's, um, I guess the only criticism I have of it, it's a little bit short in a sense because it's so big. It seems like it could have gone on a little bit longer, but it's a lot of fun. There goes the Ryan. just heading over the first hill and you can kind of get a good uh, view of parts of the beast normally you can't see any of it kind of see it going through the woods there um, it's a very low uh, kind of hugs the terrain as it goes through the woods there's tunnels and the big helix at the end it's uh, the longest wooden coaster in the world um, it's a fun ride though is that an eagle? I think an eagle just flew by. You can see the uh, beast just went up over that second hill and that goes down into the helix. Um, I just noticed the cars are empty, so they're just still testing it, or I'm not really sure. So over here you got the Banshee, which is the suspended coaster there. Uh, last time I rode that, it was kind of um, rough. Like it vibrated a lot. I don't know how else to describe it. Looks like maybe they're still testing that too. They don't quite have it open yet. Uh, the cars are empty and I see the line is uh, closed off right now. Oh, and actually, you can look down on what's going to be this new um, adventure port area. You can see the um, concrete pads uh, where some of the new rides are going to go. So that uh, is still in a work, a work in progress. Um, I think they're going to be opening that later in the summer, or, you know, by summer. So surprisingly, that one water ride there is working, or at least they're running boats. Um, so there may or may not be uh, having some water rides running today, which I didn't think, I didn't think any of the water rides would be open today. I thought they were going to wait till Memorial Day for that, but... There we got the boats going up and down the hill. So it's kind of looking straight down on the uh, fountain area the, where we just came walking through there, walked into the park. And over here, of course, is Snoopy Land, um, Planet Snoopy. So uh, this is where we bring the boys when we come here. I'll be starting to get a little bit old for this area. They might might be the last year they could still enjoy this area over here. Little uh, Woodstock Express roller coaster too, which is like a great first roller coaster for uh, young kids to go on. Go down. Established 1926, so it's like a real old-fashioned carousel. Um, it's pretty pretty. 
so I'm gonna have to get something to drink. Um, there's the bottle of water or something, throat's dry. And then after I get a drink, we'll uh, keep on walking around. So this is kind of cool. These are the different um, nano coasters and wood, wooden uh, puzzle coasters that you can buy and put together. The different uh, um, connect, uh, those aren't Legos or something else, but those are the nano coasters down there. Those are fun. I got a couple at home. I think his uh, wooden ones are pretty, pretty cool too. So this is the Fest House. They have a lot of different places to eat in there, and a little uh, clock things going off right now. Chicken dance. Um, I'm not really hungry right this minute, but. Uh, I might come back in a little bit and get something to eat here. So this is inside the Fest House. I um, thought about coming here to eat, but uh, it looks pretty busy. They have a show here, um, probably more in the summertime, than they do uh, on the pass holder preview day. So I think I'll go somewhere else to get something to eat, but uh, this is what it looks like inside, and it's air conditioned, so it's a nice place to come in the summer. So this is Banshee. This is the Chicken Shack. Um, I think I'm gonna go in here and take a look. Might not be quite as crowded as the Fest House. Uh, so they got chicken sandwiches and chicken strips and things like that. So this is the menu. It's got chicken tenders, chicken sandwiches, and salads, and of course drinks. My dining plan can't uh, cover my meal, which I forgot I had. So here's my chicken tender lunch that I just got. Looks good. Go ahead and try the chicken tender. They're very good, they're very juicy. The batter is good too. But I highly recommend it. These rides are fun if you come prepared. It's like a bathing suit. This is in Vertigo. Bobby's not ready. I think you can look through these holes. But you can see it's under construction. So this is the entrance to the racer. And uh, I think today they just got the one side running. So here comes the racer. Red racer. Here's some 
Phoenix Island. So I'm down there where it says the racer right now. Over on the left. So this is the Coney Midway, where all the games are. And uh, some rides, the like carnival type rides. We'll head down this way. So their dodge is kind of interesting because it's like a not an octagon, but it's not the rectangle you normally see. It's some kind of circular shape, almost like a merry-go-round shape. Um, so that's a little bit different from other uh, Dodgem attractions that you see. Lot. Stunt coaster, and I'm not sure if it's stuck because between those two shipping crates, I can see a car just sitting there with people in it not moving. So I don't know if they're temporarily stuck or what's going on. train waiting for it to take off. Here goes 
Mystic Timbers next to us. Diamondback. Got them both. So we're just gonna take the train for a ride around the loop. And uh, take some uh, pictures and video from the back of the park area. Come back here to the station. fairly quickly. At least I hope it does. I mean, it feels like the uh, trains are constantly running on this one. So we'll give it a go. Hopefully it's not too long. Pretty good clip. We're already walking into this uh, station here. Okay, we're at the stairs. And we're going up. It's only been a couple of minutes. Okay, I am in 14, which is the one that kind of hangs out over the edge. So, I'll be sticking out over the edge a little bit. Do you have any first time riders on Diamondback on the Brown Street? First time riders. Okay, we're about to get on Diamondback. Just got off diamond back. We were sitting kind of near the back. So it was a fun ride. A little, little uh, vibration y towards the back of the ride, but still had a fun time. This is Planet Snoopy. I don't have the kids with me today, so probably won't um, really walk through here. <laughs> just 
Just kind of taking a look. I might get some ice cream actually. They have the ice cream place over here. They've got our blue ice cream, complimentary water. Here's some blue ice cream. It's a slight berry. Kind of vanilla, but there's a a little bit of like a blueberry taste to it, maybe. Here's one of the, well, this is the smallest kitty coaster they got here. <laughs> so this would be like your very first roller coaster. Okay, we're gonna try Mystic Timbers. It's got a little bit of a line in the back area, but I don't, I think it's too bad, I don't know. We'll see. Good, how long is the line, you think? About 35, 40 minutes, just right. open back up, so it's not too bad right now. Oh, okay, cool, thanks. Oh, am I in the wrong lane? Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. And here we are, end of the line. All right, finally got to the stairs. It took like 45 minutes or something. I didn't know the line was that long or I probably would have skipped this, but it's a good ride, so. All righty, we made it to the station. Got off Mystic Timbers. Fun ride. All right, we're gonna try Orion again. Broke down earlier. So, we're gonna see if we can get on. It'll be a last ride and then head home. Then we're gonna head out of here after this. Okay, here we go into Orion. Hi. Good. So, I don't think this has a long line, or at least I hope not. <laughs> Even if it does, this ride eats through the people like a monster. Seats four are crossed, and there's three trains. And it's not a super long ride, so they're constantly cycling through people, trains. So, I don't see a line yet. Oh, big steps. Okay. There goes that one. This will be my last ride for the night. Well, I guess you do have to go in this little building here. Which have uh, space suits. Some lockers, personal items, astronauts. Okay, we're gonna be in row six. All right, here we go. 
okay, we just got off of Ryan. This big giant thing over here. It's probably the smoothest roller coaster I've ever been in my entire life. It's huge, it's 300 feet high, but it's like butter. <laughs> it's so smooth. It's a wonderful ride. Okay, we're all done at Kings Island for the day. Um, I think we had a good day. Just bought some candy and fudge. And we're by the uh, entrance here, getting ready to leave. And uh, I'm waving at the webcam. I told some people to look me, look, look up, uh, look me up. I don't know if they saw me or not. But that's it for all, for now, I guess, for this uh, Assholder preview day at Kings Island. Everybody's piling out of here. End of the Assholder preview day. So that's all for Kings Island. Assholder preview day. So we'll probably be back um, on the 4th of July weekend. That's when we came last time and it was a really good weekend to come. Like that Friday before, it wasn't very busy. So I think we'll be back around that time. And last time we stayed at Camp Cedar. I don't know, we'll see what about this time if we'll do that again or not. still debating. So, goodbye Kings Island. See everybody later. Bye.